Welcome back. Uh, now we've got uh, Chima Amadi of the Center for Transparency and Advocacy also joining us from uh, Abuja. Morning, Chima. Thank you for joining us today. What would you like to see the president it's do a uh, uh, moving forward, particularly getting it right? Uh, you could start from uh, uh, the electoral system. Uh, obviously, there are lots of things to be done in the electoral system. Uh, Many Nigerians um, have agreed that uh, the last elections posed a lot of challenges. Uh, we witnessed um, in, in some areas a vast improvement uh, on the 2015 elections by the umpire. And in some areas we also noticed that um, so much needed to be done. Uh, in terms of um, the competitiveness of our elections, it's already being seen. The off-season elections threw them up and now it's, perhaps it has come to stay, uh, which was why we are seeing um, individuals that we felt were unbeatable before now losing elections. However, in the election day operations, we think that there will be room for improvement. Now, we think that these improvements were catered for in the electoral uh, act amendment bill which the president um, withheld his assent. If you recall, you would see that there are so many provisions in that, um, in that bill. The bill was uh, the outcome of so many efforts put together by the legislative, the election management body, that's INEC, and um, the executive. Of course, not forgetting the um, inputs of civil society organizations, drawing from the various elections from 2015, off-season elections, drawing from experiences from those elections, and they were articulated properly in, in that amendment um, uh, 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 bill, which was sent to the president. And part of the uh, provisions in that bill was a look at uh, how to provide for the electronic, uh, you know, uh, voting system and also transmissions of results, including, including properly foundating and backing the use of card reader as, a, as a part of the nation's electoral laws. Um, and if you notice, in the, collation, the National Collection Center, issues around the use of the smart card reader came up you found where the opposition and some other parties were alleging that the use of the smart carrier was abandoned at some point to begin to, to, to reverse to manual, manual accreditation as against a, a guideline or a pronouncement by the EMB that only a, a, the, the smart carrier will serve as the authentication you know, or accreditation system to be used. So, but it was provided for in that electoral act uh, uh, amendment, which okay. was not assented to. But you know, also, a lot of uh, you know, yeah, I, I'm just wondering. punishments. I'm just wondering because we'll still have an election uh, coming up for the governorship and state houses of assembly. Uh, and what, have you seen any improvement in terms of what happens after election? Because the, the uh, statement that came through from the president, how uh, he said, yes, he regrets the loss of lives that might have happened, but uh, then he, even the uh, PDP candidate also admonishing his supporters stay calm even though they'll head to court so in terms of uh, peace and harmony what's the difference that you've seen now and previously well the the independent national electoral commission has a responsibility of looking at its election operations looking at it holistically and um, determining where there were you know lapses and so as to make improvements. Some of these lapses that was observed by uh, different reports, and of course by Nigerians, was the late deployment on the day of elections. Then the, the violence in some places, talking about a place like Lagos, River State, some of them induced, you know, by the political actors, and some of them perpetrated by the collusion of uh, security operatives. Uh, now that perhaps the tension would reduce a bit, uh, because um, you are not going into local uh, elections. You would expect that um, 
perhaps political actors who would turn the rhetoric and then um, reduce some of the tension. But yeah, but you know, Chima, let, let, let me places. follow up on that. I mean, do, what kind of impact do you see uh, the comments of the president and that of the uh, PDP candidates talking about uh, peace and then holding and showing that uh, they don't gloat over the victory? What kind of impact do you see that having in the local election such that their supporters will also key into this kind of message? Look, it's not enough to make pronouncements, uh, Chamberlain. Pronouncements are what they are. They are just words. You need to back up those words with actions. Uh, and and that, that's where the problem lies. You, 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 don't forget that before the elections, there were so many pronouncements. Not just pronouncements, they, they yeah, had to sign agreements. Okay, you know, for, for, for of, instance, you know, peace agreements I'm to, wondering, to maintain peace and all that. If you look at it for both candidates. But it didn't happen. What, what kind of action would you expect the, for both candidates now, both the APC and the PDP candidates? I, I expect that first of all, the candidate, the PDP, the, the PDP candidate, the best the PDP candidate can can do is to call for calm from his supporters, which he has done. He has asked people to remain calm. That he wants to use the provisions of the law enshrined in the statutes to re, to reclaim his quote unquote stolen mandates, and that is what he can do. Talk to your supporters to calm. But the president has to go beyond just as asking or telling people to come, that he has to take proactive actions in places where security agencies were identified to have perpetrated heinous, allegedly, crimes against the people in a bid to perhaps for suppress or quench whatever actions or inactions they felt the political class was going to unleash. He had to take actions. One, those that were, have been identified to have done this, like where a governor has been screaming at us, Bring them to order. Let them face the wrath of the law. Those who are still in the field to continue, you know, in, in the local elections, they, they have to be redeployed. And individuals that are over time in the services shown capacity to remain aloof should not take over the, you know, protection and supervision of, of elections. I do not think that the military have any roles to play. The military should be immediately recalled and let the police do their, 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 their job. All right, of course, so there are some now, policemen that have shown you know, partisanship. For okay, example, so the, the various allegations against a particular commission of police in a state is something is worrying. So, so re are, regarding... Not just make statements yeah, make okay, uh, I, I know that uh, I mean, uh, some of our guests have uh, uh, referred to inclusion, what they want to see the government do uh, now that uh, uh, he's won the elections. From your perspective, what would you want to see? Uh, I think that um, the months leading up to the elections um, led to lots of um, divisiveness within, within the, amongst the country, our country folks. And um, that's that the, the cohesion, you know, that Nigeria is usually known for, was er has been eroded. Lots of um, lots of people feel at this point in time that um, we 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 the, the the unity that was fought for was uh, was actually on the precipice. Now that an election has been won, and um, those who feel at that. Um, the election was, was not properly won, I've decided to go to court. I think it is now time for the political actors to, you know, begin to behave like patri patriotic Nigerians. And so I expect the president to use his words and actions to begin to assuage the feelings of those who feel hurt. And he has started in that right direction. The, the, the statement that his government is going to be all inclusive, that um, he wants to reunite the country, and that um, people should stay calm. It's this kind of statement. It's a presidential statement. It's the kind of statement you expect from someone who clearly understands that Nigeria was not the same, or it's not the same I, I, again. I expect the, those who are maybe on the losing, uh, uh, or those who uh, feel that uh, their vision has changed, to also toe that line by behaving as patriots and nationalists, to talk to their supporters, to maintain the higher ground and to allow the law to take its process. We should not forget that this president went through this road for 12 years, approaching the courts each time he lost and all that. This is a time also I expect the, the opposition to toe the line of maturity, 
and to toe the line of patriotism by allowing the laws of the land to take its course. I believe that whatever, uh, whatever evidence they have, that they, our laws are capable of, of looking at them and dispassionately determining whether the laws of the electoral laws was substantially uh, you know, complied with. But having said that, and having said that, one of the reasons why you have people taking laws into their hands is when individuals who commit infractions are not brought to book. So okay. whoever has, is seen to have committed any infractions must, uh, must face the wrath of the law. Okay. Uh, Mr. Amadi, I, I want to, they, they, you, you're just talking about what the president should do and all of that, and of course that's all taken. The president, ha in a lot of ways, has to cooperate, has to align with the National Assembly. Now, in a situation where, and of course they were all recruited you know, by the same ballot papers and all of that, in a situation where a particular senator, a member of the National Assembly, is not performing as, uh, as would be expected by his or her constituents, the person came into office with just one vote, but the process of taking the person out uh, is so incongruous. How, what can be done to make that process better? We want to sack our senator, we want to sack our member of House of Representatives, but the process is clumsy. Go ahead. What, 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 the, what the can recall, be done? The recall process, the recall process is, uh, in Nigeria is a very difficult process. Um, no recall process has, in the, in, in, since 1999 has succeeded. And the reason 